heroic rescue caught on camera. This newly released body cam footage shows the moment a Salisbury police lieutenant stepped in to rescue a driver from his burning tractor trailer. Queen City News anchor Robin Kennedy spoke with Lieutenant Corey Brooks today about his life-saving actions. She's live at the Salisbury Police Department. And Robin, you found out it wasn't just the officer's police training that kicked in. Exactly, Morgan. The police officer has 25 years in law enforcement, but before that, he was a truck driver. And he still has his commercial driver's license. Because of that training, he says he knew he had to act quickly to pull that truck driver out. Lieutenant Corey Brooks saw the flames from underneath the truck. The fire was following the fuel line. He knew he only had seconds to get the driver out. This was one of the scariest moments of my career. And at that time of the driver in the truck and me trying to get him out, because at first I couldn't move him at first, I was thinking, okay, either I'm going to die here with him or I got to get him out of this truck. The truck driver was breathing, but he was unresponsive. Somehow, Lieutenant Brooks managed to tackle his hardest feat of the night, budging the driver into a position where he could tug and pull him out. There's no way I could just keep going or just radio in, wait for the fire department to get there, and just watch him burn in the truck. I don't think I could mentally or psychologically um, cope with that. The relief Lieutenant Brooks felt was fleeting because he felt something else, the heat from the flames, and he could smell the rubber burning. He knew at any point the truck could explode. She just appeared out of nowhere, and she was kind of like my partner. Another truck driver helped him drag her fellow driver across several lanes of I-85. A minute or two later, what Lieutenant Brooks feared when he was in the cab happened. And all of a sudden we start hearing popping under the truck and I remember her saying is that popping sound she said I said yeah and then one semi goes by and a second later boom the truck um, exploded the three of them took cover just as fire and EMS crews arrived the driver became conscious and walked onto the ambulance in the weeks following, the driver has met with Lieutenant Brooks and thanked him for saving his life. And, you know, he says, now I get to see my kids again. And so, you know, we gave him a big hug and we are like, we're going to be connected forever. Such a great story. And Lieutenant Brooks has still not been able to track down that other trucker who helped him. He says he wants to give her a big hug and help him. Thank him for, thank her for helping him save a life that night. I'm live in Salisbury, Robin Kennedy, Queen City News. Gosh, what an incredible story, Robin. Thank you.